What if it were possible for someone with an average or below income to become extremely wealthy with just one small change in their everyday life? Without earning a large income, making extremely lucrative investments, or receiving a large windfall, the people with average or below incomes could retire as multimillionaires. David Bach, the author of The Automatic Millionaire, says anyone can get rich with the amount you'd spend on a daily latte. Take a look at the points outlined in David Bach's book, The Automatic Millionaire, to see how anyone can become wealthy. My name is Chris, and I help teach people about money, personal finance, and investing. If you want to become financially free and not have to worry about money, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you find it helpful. The author of the book, David, had previously taught a class about planning for retirement, and he helped many clients and couples throughout the years by coaching them to achieve their financial goals. One particular set of clients really stood out to David, and ironically, he ended up learning a lot from them. Jim and Sue McIntyre presented their situation to David, and he was astonished at the amount of money they had accumulated. With over $2 million saved, they were ready to retire in their early 50s. The McIntyres established a retirement plan early on by only saving 4% of their income. They gradually raised that amount to 15%, and as a result, they accumulated over $2 million, despite never earning more than $50,000 per year. Their parents taught them the importance of putting aside a few dollars for themselves before paying their bills, which was the main basis for their success. Another piece to the puzzle was buying a home and paying that off early so they had extra money for other things. They prioritized buying a home early on because they knew homeowners are statistically much better off than perpetual renters. The lessons learned from the McIntyres were the building blocks for the automatic millionaire. The main lesson David Bach took from these self-made millionaires is that how much you earn has almost no bearing on whether or not you can and will build wealth. Regardless of whether or not you're earning a large six-figure salary, you have the potential to do the same thing the McIntyres did, even if it feels like you just can't earn the money fast enough. The reason income and the ability to build wealth have little to no correlation is that typically, the more people earn, the more they spend. As their earnings rise, they fall victim to something called lifestyle creep or lifestyle inflation and their expenses rise to meet or even exceed their income. When they receive a raise or a promotion, they're immediately compelled to increase their lifestyle. As a result, many of those earning six figures or more are living paycheck to paycheck without much to show for it other than payments and liabilities. The McIntyres made it a priority to spend less than they earned. The latte factor is all you need to get rich over time. Most, not all of the people who say they can't afford to save and invest are spending the equivalent of a daily latte on something. It could be a latte, eating lunch out, playing the lottery, or other small expense. The latte effect has been criticized by various individuals over the years, but the reality is that it's the easiest way to get rich over time, and there's really no need to overthink this proven strategy. It means by saving and investing the equivalent of the cost of a latte every day, you can get rich and the little things, no matter how insignificant they seem, can really cut into your budget. In fact, the smaller purchases are the sneaky ones you need to look out for. Because they seem inconsequential, they have a tendency to multiply. In the case of the McIntyres, 4% was all that was needed to get the ball rolling, even though it wasn't a lot. If you really would rather not skip your regular lattes or lunch out, it might not be a problem. The McIntyres were able to achieve multimillionaire status while continuing their habit of smoking cigarettes. This just goes to show you that you don't need to give up your daily lattes to make this work. By setting up an automated investing plan, much of the hard work is done for you. The result of automatic saving is incredible consistency, so you're putting money away without even thinking of it. You don't need to remember to save the money every week or every month because the funds are automatically taken from your paycheck or your bank account and you won't even realize it's missing. Most people, when presented with the choice of saving money this week or not, they'll almost always put it off until next week, at which point they'll be making the same decision. The great thing about each dollar that doesn't make its way to your hands is that you're far less likely to miss it or spend it. Most people who implement automatic investing plans will tell you they practically forget about the money and hardly miss it at all. When something requires discipline, 
The easiest way to consistently achieve it is to remove yourself from the equation and remove the need for willpower altogether. David Bach suggests taking part in your company's 401k plan if that's something that's offered by your employer. Otherwise, set up an IRA or similar retirement account. Decide how much you're going to invest during each period. Ideally, this is the maximum amount you can comfortably handle, but even a few percent to start is fine. Choose what you want to invest the money in. Just opening the account isn't enough. You have to select an investment option, such as an S&P 500 fund, so your money will grow and won't just sit there idle like a bank account. Lastly, make the contributions automatic so you don't have to waste time and energy with the process. It's also helpful to automate other parts of your finances, such as debt paydown. For example, by automating your mortgage payment and making bi-weekly payments instead of monthly, you'll end up making one extra payment each year, meaning years taken off your loan. $10 per day adds up to $3,650 per year. If that money were invested in the S&P 500, earning an average annual return of 10% for 40 years, which is about the average working career, that would amount to $564,000. This is after adjusting for a 4% inflation rate and it increases the contributions with inflation. If that doesn't seem like a large sum of money, consider that you're only sacrificing $10 per day. Is that a large sacrifice? Ask yourself if you would rather spend the money on a latte or two or equivalent purchase or if you'd rather invest that towards a financially secure future. If two people or a married couple were each able to find $10 per day, they could easily amass over $1 million over time from that amount alone. Creating a budget can help you find wasted money that slips through your fingers, causing confusion as to why you have nothing left at the end of the month. This is critical for those who claim they don't have enough money to save and invest. The reality is that if those people took a careful look at what they were spending their money on, such as lattes, cigarettes, and other small discretionary items, they'd find that their unnecessary spending adds up to be significant. If you're one of the people who throws your arms up in disbelief and confusion claiming you can't save money, you need a budget. It's critical to understand the power of the latte effect, but David Bach doesn't recommend stopping there. He also suggests that you invest in earning power by continuing your education or furthering your career. This is a major key to increasing your income over time, and it will allow you to save and invest more money. Critics will argue that removing anything that brings the slightest amount of joy, such as a daily latte from your life, is not the path to wealth, or that it takes too long. The Automatic Millionaire does an amazing job outlining just how simple it can be to get rich over time and how anyone can do this with a little patience, and this is easy to do with as little as $10 per day. There's no need to overcomplicate the process of building wealth when it really is that simple.